Well, I think the structure itself of Spain and the United States and Australia and Canada and Great Britain and all the West has changed from a fundamentally democratic structure where the majority kind of gets what it wants to a situation where the average person gets absolutely nothing. And there's no correlation, there's no connection between what people want and what the government does. That's not democracy. A smaller group of people wields more power, economic and political power than ever before. And so either one of two things is going to happen. Either you're gonna have dictatorship, and that's where we're moving, or you're gonna have some sort of mass reaction that's gonna bring us back to democracy. But we're on a collision course. Um, and I do think, once again, Spain leads the way. If you wanna know what the next 10 years in the rest of the West is going to look like, you look at Spain. It's not the first time that's happened. No, I mean, that was the most moderate demonstration I've ever been to. These are not people who are calling for revolution. These are people who are calling on the government to make good on its core promise, which is to represent them and to share power among the people. That's what democracy is. Democracy is the government where the people rule. And if you have a government that pays no attention to what people want, that's not a democracy. So that was not a group of revolutionaries. That was not a group of people calling for violence. It was just the opposite. Those were people calling for a return to what they were promised at the beginning, which was a democracy. Well, he's a very principled person. I've spent my life interviewing politicians. I've interviewed every politician. That's what I do for a living. And politicians are interested in politics. How do I get power? How do I win these votes? How do I bring these coalitions together? I had spent the afternoon with him. I had dinner with him. I spent the night, the evening with him walking around Madrid, and I spent the morning with him here. He didn't mention politics a single time. He mentioned the Spain that his children will inherit. This is a man who's thinking big, and it's people like that who change history, people who can take three steps back and think, what will this look like in 100 years? That's who I thought he was. And so I was very impressed. And I don't like politicians. I don't spend time with them voluntarily.